Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Renee Roden. It is a pleasure to have you all here, whoever is watching. I am really grateful and thankful. Um, I have been wanting to make a YouTube channel for so long, for too long. And I have doubted myself and insecurities, all that good stuff. But, you know, there there is no better time than right now to make a YouTube channel and to start posting and uploading and, you know, getting involved. Um, so this is the best time, honestly. And what can I say? Uh, the trick is really to just start now. That's really it. Start right now. Um, now I can definitely say it takes patience and some technological intelligence to get, you know, with the program when it comes to uploading videos um, on, on YouTube or even just transferring files from your phone or camera. From your phone is very difficult. I can say I faced many challenges. Uh, it's definitely not easy, so I applaud everyone out there that's a go-getter that's on YouTube working hard at this. Um, this is going to be a very welcoming, entertaining channel, a very educational channel with information about health, beauty, wellness, um, you name it, but it will mostly be about hair and makeup videos. Um, so we won't, you know, we won't be getting too off track. Uh, mostly just, you know, about general health, beauty, and wellness. And from there, uh, I don't want to keep you guys too long, but please like, subscribe to my channel if you love what you see. Please comment um, in the section below. If you have any questions, please ask. Um, I am not afraid of judgment. Uh, correct me if you hear information that sounds incorrect or fugazi. Please correct me, ask questions. I am always, you know, we're, we're all here to learn. It's YouTube, we're here to learn for a reason. Um, other than that, I don't want to keep you too long. Let's get right into it. And if you want to see more and you want to see how I um, apply that product and the before and after look, the complete finished look of my hair, stay tuned and enjoy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hey guys, today I will be giving you all a full hair routine on my natural curly hair. I will first start out by making ingredients from scratch for my hair mask today. This is a mayo based hair mask and I will start out with a ripened banana. They contain conditioning ingredients that work to improve hair hydration through their natural oils and carbohydrates. The banana but especially the skin are rich in vitamin B, potassium, silica, and antioxidants, which can offer protection against free radicals, damage caused by pollution, sunlight, and other stressors that weaken and break down your hair. This is why I am scraping my banana skin. Bananas also have antimicrobial properties that can heal flaky, flaky and dry scalp relieving dandruff symptoms so you can do a banana hair mask about once a week but because of its natural oils it will weigh down your hair caution to all my friends with latex allergies banana can irritate your skin or scalp I'm going to mash up that banana um, into baby food like consistency and you you can use a fork or a muddler Next, I'm going to use an egg. They are nutrient-rich. They're hair superfoods, meaning that is 
uh, they are the hair growth serums of all serums, being rich in vitamin A, E, and biotin. I don't know if you've ever seen a chicken up close and alive, but they are shiny. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they are so shiny. <laughs> so I'm just mixing up all of that product into a nice smooth consistency. You can use a blender, but I choose to hand mix. Just use what honestly works best for you. Now I'm going to go and wash my hands, get that raw egg off from handling. And our third ingredient is going to be our mayonnaise. Mayonnaise contains uh, they are super healthy for your curls, such as vinegar, lemon juice, and soybean oil, all of which will add shine to frizz-prone hair. Then coconut oil has lauric acid, which nourishing properties that are especially prone to soak into the strands of your hair. Coconut oil absorbs into your hair quickly, providing moisture to tame frizz and heal breakage. Next is our ACV with the mother, ACV wards off bacteria while keeping balanced pH levels. I wouldn't recommend using no more than once a week maximum. Um, and I'm putting in about two tablespoons of each um, item. Except for mayo, I use three to four tablespoons. Last product, um, or actually our next product is the sixth ingredient, which is extra virgin olive oil. It seals moisture into your hair fi fibers, um, which helps with elasticity and results in less breakage. It reduces the amount of water your hair absorbs, which lessens shrinkage and frizz. Our last product will be tea tree oil. The broad spectrum of, of activity of tea tree oil includes antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal, antiviral, and antiprotozole. I'm just going to mix all of my products until they are thoroughly combined. Just scraping all of that good ingredients off. And just getting all of that mixed up until we have a nice consistency. If you'd like to add more of something, definitely do that. Like I said, do what works best for you. Add what you want. Take away what you don't need. Um, I'm going to now shampoo my hair. I've already got it sectioned. I pre-pooed. And I've got it detangled. I'm getting my hair completely wet and soaked, making sure each strand is covered with warm water, not completely hot water. Your skin as well as your scalp is covered with sebum, which protects your head from foreign invaders and bacteria, so I don't want to heat, um, overheat my hair and scrub them off. But today I will be using the Lucetta Keratin Shampoo. It is color safe free of sulfates, parabens, and gluten. <clears throat> it is made especially for damaged and dry hair. I start by applying a generous amount to my scalp. Starting with one side of my head, I tend to wet my hair again so that the shampoo can adhere and penetrate to my roots. I will do the other side of my hair, which will be off camera, but don't worry, I've got the entire head washed for you guys. So I'm just going to scrub my head, and I've already rinsed my hair out now. I've got my hair sectioned off to start applying the leave-in conditioner mask that we made. Now you definitely can apply um, the leave-in to your roots. I am not applying it directly to 
my roots just for purposes of um, I don't want any buildup but the purpose you can definitely apply it to the roots mayo is definitely is a product you want to apply to your roots now once I've applied the mask over my entire head I'm just gonna work it through the strands for five minutes And I'm going to complete my entire head for you guys off camera, but I'm just working all of that product in there. And then at a point I did realize um, that, you know, it wasn't, it was too liquidy. The product was a little too liquidy for me. So I did um, realize at one point and added some conditioner in there. So you can definitely add some conditioner so you can get a little bit more slip instead of, um, just that water consistency so right here i realized i was like yep i forgot to add in my conditioner it just wasn't working enough for me you know getting the product in i felt like it was just slipping right off of my hair so definitely add conditioner if you need to and remember a little bit definitely goes a long way it makes a big difference I'm just combing the hair mask through my hair, just getting it through each and every strand, making that making sure that my whole hair is covered. Once I've covered my entire head and combed and detangled my hair, my entire head is complete. I'm just working the mask. down the shaft of my hair, focusing on the ends, just squeezing out the extra product. And I'm going to get a steam cap and just cover my hair and um, have it steam for about 15 minutes. And I will go ride my stationary bike. Now I'm back and we're just gonna rinse out the hair mask. I definitely feel the heat on my head so we're just gonna rinse that hair mask out if you'd like to leave it on longer you definitely can but you know your hair only absorbs so much after a time 15 minutes really does the job curls are happy bouncy just rinsing all of that extra product out getting the mayo residue out of my hair making sure to get rid of all the banana peels as well. So though we did use a hair mask today, um, these items do carry protein and add strength and shine, but they don't condition. I'll be using the Harbor Keratin and Pearl Shine Conditioner for dry and damaged hair. I'll be smoothing that into my, um, through the length of my hair and through the ends, avoiding the root and then combing through my hair. All right guys, so off camera, I rinsed my hair. thoroughly of conditioner with cool water. I'm just sectioning my hair off and we are now ready to style. So off camera, I already went in and oiled my scalp. You can most definitely skip this process, but I do it because the fatty acids in the oils help restore your hair's lost lipid layer from all that shampooing we just did and the oils protect the follicle from surfacants by filling the gap between your cuticle cells. So I have my hair sectioned off into two horizontal halves from ear to ear. I'm going to now section the um, bottom half of my hair 
into one more section just to make it more manageable. And the first product I will be using today is TGIN Miracle Repair X Curl Food Daily Moisturizer. So you can definitely use this every day as a daily moisturizer. I just um, usually use it once to twice a week and it smells divine. Now it's a very thick product. Um, I smooth it and rake it through my hair using a, a good portion but nothing over a quarter size amount per section as it is very thick. I'm just raking that through my hair and um, I'm adding water as needed. So I'll spray my hair as needed. You never want to apply your product on dry hair. Next I'm going to go in with my favorite All Reliable Eco Styler Olive Oil Hair Gel. If you want the max hole, this product is most definitely for you. A little bit does go a long way with this hair gel. It is max hold, so it will leave your hair very crunchy after it dries. So just use a small portion on the hair. Add, you know, add as needed, but don't start out with a large amount. As I said, I'm just going to spray and refresh my hair as needed, just because um, the products soak up better into your hair on, on wet hair. So it's much easier to brush and style your hair when, when it's nice and soaking wet. I'm then taking my Denman brush and brushing through the hair. I'm holding the hair secure in one spot and brushing from the ends to find my knots and then brushing them out. Just holding the hair taut at one area so I'm not yanking my hair from the roots. Be gentle with your hair. Be gentle. So I'm brushing a section out, pulling away from my scalp. So I'm just detangling the ends and working my way up without, you know, ripping my hair out. Brush that until it's completely detangled. Once it is, I'm pulling away from my hair, pulling out to the end, and I'm just going to use like a cupping motion with my hand to push the hair up to my root. I don't scrunch or squeeze my hair. You definitely can if that works for you, by all means. But I don't scrunch um, because you, you can see the product is already visible on my hair itself. I don't want to squeeze and scrunch and, you know, squeeze more product out of where it already is dispersed to. So it's already di evenly dispersed. I just leave it where it is and um, just use my hand in a cupping motion. But of course, scrunch if, if that works for you. Just going back in with my spray bottle getting the hair nice and saturated before we apply product and it doesn't need to be you know dripping wet but damp to wet is preferable when applying product So I did give myself a haircut recently about, I would say, two and a half, three weeks ago. Um, and that is because I had um, color treated hair and it's been now two years since I last dyed my hair and I just waited for it to grow out every like, you know, five months. I gave myself a trim and then I finally cut the rest of the blonde out because you know the ends were getting dry my hair started splitting up to the black so I just decided to get rid of it last week or I'm sorry 
about three weeks ago. So this is the fresh black hair that we're working with right now. This is all the new growth we're working with. So it, it, it's still transitioning hair. It still needs to be worked on um, and be treated as, you know, transitioning hair. It's not happy new growth. Um, my curls are definitely different. Curl pattern has changed. Texture has changed. Um, certain parts of my hair curl differently. And that's to be expected. But we're going to train our hair. Hair can be trained. So it it's something to be worked on. And that is the purpose of this channel. We're going to... Um, grow together, plant a seed and grow together and watch each other, you know, transform. So it's all about, you know, just a step-by-step -step process and taking your time. Just one step at a time, you know, magic doesn't happen overnight. But just finishing up that cupping motion, I've now completed the back of my hair and I'm going to finish off the left side for you off camera. But right now, um, there's a spot in the back of my hair that is extremely dry. Um, I'm not sure why, but, uh, you know, it's the one spot, you know, your, of your head that's very hard to get to. It's the middle of your head. So it's to be expected. I'm just going to focus on that area. I applied a little bit more product. I'm just brushing that through and making it, you know, match the rest of my hair. So I've already finished off the left side here. Just doing that last piece, and then I'm going straight into the right side of my head for you guys. So I did, um, as you can see, I did change the sectioning of my hair. The top half, I sectioned it off into three sections. Um, you can do two. I did, uh, that third section was for the moon shape around my face. Uh, it's just my bangs. If you don't have bangs, don't make a third section. I just split my hair into two straight down the middle. If you don't have a middle part or don't like it, split it into, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, do like a, a side part, whatever works for you. This style your hair with what works. Um, I styled my hair specifically like this with a section in the back uh, just to yet achieve a certain shape. So it's the way you style your hair which will um, create a certain shape that you're looking for. So <clears throat> it gives enough um, hair for the back. So the back of my head looks filled in. When people see me from the back, you know, I can't um, see the back of my head. So there's enough hair distributed on each side when you section your hair off. And then also uh, the products are able to be distributed um, evenly in your hair when you do sections as well. So that's the plus side for sections. Also, as you can see, though my parts aren't perfect, when I create smaller sections, my hair, when it does dry, it can be flipped to any side I want it to. We're almost done. I'm just spraying this last section, getting it damp, and going in with our TGIN hair food hair moisturizer. And I, I actually like to add a little bit more moisturizer on the top of my head. Um, 
you know, most people don't, but I do because that is the part of your hair that sees the most sun is, you know, that, that shape that you, that top shape you see now, the crown of my head, that's the spot that sees the most amount of sun. So I want to diligently cover, um, those hairs with moisturizer because it will, you know, my hair will suck it up and dry it out throughout the week. All right, so I'm just brushing out this last section. And we are almost complete. I'm just going to do my bangs off camera. And I am now back with my hair completely styled. Bangs are done. Curls are defined and popping and bouncy. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see the back of my head minimal frizz except for that little one spot in the back that we're working on but hair is complete and shiny and beautiful and bouncy i'm going to diffuse off camera and i will be right back with you guys to show you what my hair looks like when it is dried All right, so this is the final look. My hair is completely dried, defined curls, beautiful and shiny. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my first YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys.